The ARIA Awards are a big event, and not only for the Australian music industry. Proudly sponsored by Big Pond, Olay Total Effects, KFC Hot Rods and Chubba Chubs. Those were the ads seen by more than a million viewers of Channel 10's ARIA coverage. But what about the ads that many viewers didn't see? And in a way they're all winners, but in another way, four of them aren't. Did you notice anything unusual there? At first, we didn't. But take a look at it again in slow motion. There's a single frame lasting just 1 25th of a second edited into the nominations clip. This one advertising the Toyota Yaris. The practice was used throughout the awards and some sharp-eyed viewers actually spotted it. While watching a video recording of the Arias, my 12 and 13 year old children noticed KFC flashing up on the screen. The other ARIA sponsors were also inserted using the same technique. There was Telstra. And there was Chubba Chubbs. Did you miss that one? Here it is again at a speed you might pick up. This insert contained a flashed message for Olay Cosmetics. I just watched a video of it on YouTube which clearly showed Olay flashing very quickly on screen during the list of nominees. Is this not illegal? Well, the answer to that question from one of our tipsters is that we believe it is. The Commercial Television Code of Practice, backed by the Broadcasting Act, says... A licensee may not broadcast a program, program promotion, station identification or community service announcement which is likely, in all the circumstances, to use or involve any technique which attempts to convey information to the viewer by transmitting messages below or near the threshold of normal awareness. Flashing advertising images below the level of awareness is known as subliminal advertising. One psychologist told us the technique used in the ARIA broadcast fell into that category. In laboratory settings, psychologists can use exposures of about 10 to 55 milliseconds without viewers becoming consciously aware of the stimuli. Given that the presentation time of the sponsor graphics falls within this range, it seems likely that for many viewers these graphics are below or near the threshold of normal awareness. The jury is out on how effective that technique actually is in getting people to buy things, but targeting the subconscious is seen as unacceptable. Subliminal advertising is banned because it is a form of mind control. It aims to influence us in ways that we are unaware of and consequently that we could not choose to resist even if we wanted to. So who's responsible for this beneath the surface assault on the senses of those who watch the Arias? The broadcast was produced by Roving Enterprises, owned by Rove McManus, who emceed the night. It handballed the issue to Channel 10. The advertisers who told us they just provided the logos and paid the money...